Thank you for purchasing the Kershaw 55TH Sky Trim. Your machine has been fully tested and is ready for operation. This video is a quick overview of the machine and its major components. Before starting the operation of the machine, you want to check the fluid levels. You want to check your fuel level, the hydraulic oil level, the engine oil level, and the engine coolant level. To check the hydraulic oil level, use the sight gauge at the front of the cab. Make sure that the level is between the fill lines. To check the engine oil level, you remove the latch, open the guard, secure the guard prop rod, open the engine cowl. Here we have the engine coolant. You want to make sure it's between the fill line and the low level line. Here's the dipstick for the engine oil. You want to check and make sure that it's at an appropriate level. While you have the cowl open, you want to visually inspect the radiator, make sure there's not excessive debris, and also check the air filter to make sure that there's not debris in there as well. Before operating the machine, you want to read through the owner's manual and the quick start guide. These are located in the operator's cab behind the seat. This machine is equipped with a lap belt. You want to fully extend the belt, place the tab in the receptacle, and wear it snug across your lap. The procedure for starting the engine, you want to turn the key to the on position. Make sure that your parking brake is engaged. The indicator will be on the gauge cluster. Make sure that your direction of travel lever is in neutral. Your saw must be off. Then turn the key the rest of the way to start. After starting the machine, allow it to run for three to five minutes to get up to operating temperature. At this point, you'd be able to retract the outriggers and begin to travel. Make sure to disengage the parking brake before travel. This machine is equipped with a boom slide for maneuverability and load distribution while trailering. The boom slide must be forward to raise the boom. The controls for the boom slide are on the rear of the console. With the boom raised, the machine propel is limited to where you can reposition for trimming, but not fully propel. If you wish to fully propel, you must return the boom to the lower position. The boom functions are controlled with the joystick. To raise the boom, pull the joystick to the rear. To lower the boom, push the joystick towards the front. To retract the boom, push the joystick to the left. To extend the boom, push the joystick to the right. To swing the boom to the right, push and hold the yellow button and move the joystick to the right. To move the boom to the left, push and hold the yellow button and push the joystick to the left. To rotate the saw head to the right, push and hold the green button and push the joystick to the right. To rotate the saw head to the left, push and hold the green button and push the joystick to the left. To shut down the machine, allow it to idle for three to five minutes. Make sure the saw is in the off position, that the boom is in the stowed position. Lower your outriggers, engage the parking brake, and turn the key to the off position.